The man accusations that he sexually assaulted two women, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax released results of a polygraph test as proof, he says, of his innocence. So we wanted to know just how accurate are those tests? 13 News Now reporter Dana Smith is in the studio with a closer look at how they work. New at 5. We've all seen polygraph tests in action movies and crime drama TV shows, but maybe you're not as familiar with them as you might think. Is WVEC Channel 13 the best news station you ever worked for? Yes. I decided to put myself in the hot seat to find out if polygraph tests really work. Polygraph examiner David Goldberg of Executive Protection Group Polygraph Service says for the majority of people, they are accurate. But it all boils down to who the examiner is and the type of questions asked so you don't get a false pass or a false fail. They do work and they're about 98 to 99 percent accurate. However, polygraph tests are not admissible in court. Former FBI agent Stephen Foster says that's because there are people out there who can trick the test. A polygraph is not going to tell you tr whether the person is truthful or lying. That's not what it does. Foster says although polygraphs can be a useful tool for investigators in extracting confessions, there are some people who can essentially beat the test. Some people are just guilt free. You know, they don't necessarily have a conscience or maybe they refocus their attention in a different direction or they control their emotions a little bit. And some people are able uh, during a polygraph to tense up their muscles and change the blood pressure uh, in their bodies.